Hello, this is a Keycloak tutorial on social login and user registration. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to enable user registration so that users can create themselves on, from the login page. You're going to set up default roles when a user registers. We're also going to set up social login so that you can log in via Google. This tutorial assumes you have set up the customer portal and product portal demo that comes with the Keycloak distribution. To learn how to do that, you can either follow the screencast tutorials, the basics, part one and two, or you can follow the text instructions that come with the examples. If you remember the customer portal example, when you go to a secured page on one of your secured websites, for instance, if we click on the customer listing here, we are brought to a login screen for the realm that the application is configured to join. Another thing you can add to this login page is a registration option so that users can create themselves and register them themselves with the realm and be able to log into your website with their own new identity. To be able to do that, you need to go to the administration console, specifically the realm that you want to enable registration for. So let's do that. We're going to go to the admin console here, and we will log in. See on the uh, the settings page for the for the demo realm for the realm you want to enable registration for there is a user registration button. If you click on that, click Save. When you log in to your website, you will now see a registration link. If you click on that regis registration link, you can enter in your name and email address. and a username and a password and you have to confirm the password and when you register you see that we have created our user here but the problem is that to access the the customer listing page we have to have a specific permission we have to have a a role allowed for this particular registered user. So in this case, we've enabled registered users, but registration is a useless process because none of the users can access the system. So let's go back to the administration console. If you look at the settings page, you'll see that there is an option called default roles. If you click on that, what, what this screen does is it sets up when a user registers they will automatically have role mappings for the roles defined here. So in our applications case we want to add a user default role for every user that is registered. So I'll click on user here, use the arrow button, and you see that we have successfully updated the default roles for the realm. So now when I register an, a new user, that user will be allowed to access the the customer listing page. So let's do that. So now when I click on the customer link listing link and I click register, I click register. This um, user here will automatically get the user role and will be able to access the customer listing. So you see now I am registered and I am logged in. The registration feature is a great way for public internet applications to interact with um, social users. Another way to interact with social users is to allow them to log in through Google, Twitter, or their favorite social provider. 
you can do that through Keycloak. First, let's log out of this. And to enable social login, there's a few things we have to do. We have to go back to the administration console. Again, on the settings page of your Realm, you will see a social login option here. If I click that, click Save. Okay, after I've uh, enabled social login for my Realm, you can see now that I have a new menu option at the top of the page here called Social. From this particular page, this is where you configure each social provider you want to be able to log in with. There's three available right now, Google, Facebook, and Twitter. But in this tutorial, we're just going to do set up Google. To be able to log in, do a social login through Google, you need to create a, a cloud account at google.com. And you have to, to do that, you have to log into the Google Cloud Console. So let's actually do that. So the URL is cloud.google.com slash console slash project. Hit that. And it's asking me for a login. And my username is keycloak at gmail.com. I'm not going to tell you my password. Sign in. And you come up to this page here. Um, you see here, this is where I've already tested this once, but I'm going to do it again. Um, so the first thing you have to do is click the Create Project button. You're going to give it a project name. I'm going to say this is uh, Key Cloak Demo and hit Create. It'll take a little bit, but you see here that it's uh, calling Create Project now. It's creating it on the Google system. And there's a few more steps that we have to do here. The first thing we have to do is go to the APIs in Auth section. And what you have to do is scroll down until you get to Google Plus API right here. And you have to turn that on. You see it's enabling the Google Plus API. This allows you to, uh, this allows Keycloak to get um, email information and other user information from from Google so that it can just store it. So you see now I have the Google Google Plus API turned on. The next thing we have to do is we have to get credentials for this particular project that I've created. So we click on the credentials link here and then we want to click create new client ID You want to delete these two things. One thing we have to do is we have to specify an authorized redirect URI. This is an author, this is a redirect URI back to the key, a specific link on the Keycloak server. In this case, we're specifying localhost port 8080 is where uh, Keycloak lives. And the callback URI is slash auth slash rest slash social slash callback. So what, what you'll probably change is you, you might change this to HTTPS and you might change this to the host and port. We click create client ID here. See it's taken, it takes a little bit. And there's two things we need here. We need the actual client ID and we need the client secret. So let's cut and paste the client ID first. I'm going to copy that. Now we're going to go to Keycloak again. Remember our social page here? We're going to click Add, provid add Provider. We're going to add a Google provider. And we're going to cut and paste that client ID to the key, pay, uh, the key um, item right here. Next we want to cut and paste the client secret. And we'll click Save Changes. 
Okay, so now we're all set up to use a social login. So let's go to our customer portal again. Click on a customer listing. And you see now our login page has login with Google. When I click on that, um, the first page somebody's going to see when they when they click that button is they're going to get um, a Google OAuth grant page, which is going to ask the user if Keycloak is allowed to know who you are in Google, view your email address, view basic information about your account. Hopefully the user will accept, and when they do, in this case, um, I'm already logged in as Keycloak. So um, it let me it redirected me directly to, uh, to to the customer portal, and now I'm logged in as keycloak at gmail.com. So what I should have done is logged out of uh, logged out of keycloak, but so we can log out here and go to Gmail. And I'm going to log out of this. Sign out. Let's go back to the customer portal. Log in with Google. And you see, this is the login screen we would get. Now, it didn't show me the OAuth grant page because I've already done it once. So G uh, Google actually remembers that I've authorized the Keycloak server to, to um, be able to access basic user profile information. So I'm going to log in now as keycloak at gmail.com. And now you see I am logged in through SSO, through the Keycloak server via social login. Now that's it. Um, right now what we, we haven't had, what we don't implement is social logout. That's something we're going to have to work on on later releases. But it will log out you out of all your applications that are managed by Keycloak, but it will, will not log you out of Google. That's it. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.